the importance of teaching. I'd also like to acknowledge a good friend and lifelong civil rights champion, Congressman John Lewis, who is with you today. In my State of the Union address last Tuesday, I said that here in America, we do big things. And in order to do those big things, we need to make sure our nation is leading the way in education. We need to improve the quality of math and science being taught in our schools. We need to boost the number of young people who graduate from college. And we need to make sure every child is learning from a qualified teacher. That last point is especially crucial. After all, it's important to remember that after parents, the biggest impact on a child's success comes from a man or a woman at the front of the classroom. Right now, too few Americans are choosing to make that impact, especially in the African American community. African American students make up 17% of our student population, but only 7% of our teachers. Less than 2% of our teachers are African American or Hispanic men. That needs to change. And I can't think of a better place to begin that conversation than a Dr. King's alma mater at the beginning of Black History Month. After all, historically, black colleges and universities already produce half of African American teachers in this country. And I'm confident that in the months and years to come, we can encourage even more students to help shape the brightest minds of the next generation. So to every young person here today, to every Morehouse man who's contemplating their career choice, if you want to make a difference in the life of our nation, if you want to make a difference in the life of a child, become a teacher. Your country needs you.